Hey, what's up guys? This is Tony once again. I have another uh, thing to talk to you guys about. One thing that I want to bring to you guys today is do you ever think about your commute to work? Do you ever think about your, I would say, your expenses that you waste to get to work? Doesn't that cut your pay? I mean, if you think about it, you're wasting so many hours to get to work. It takes you so many hours to get home you multiply that by however many days you work you look at your paycheck and then you see man I'm not really getting paid that much I'm here to tell you you need to do something about it yeah you gotta do something about that man if the job is worth it if there's a point in time where that job will make ends meet then there's no problem with that but there shouldn't be a reason why you're not looking for another job. People need to think about, people don't think about this more uh, to make it more clear. When you're in an interview, they ask you, how much do you want to make? How much are you looking to make? People just think out of their mind, you know, and just give out a random number. If you think about it, they're really asking you, how much do you price yourself? Or how much does it cost for us to bring you into our company. How much do your skills cost? How much does your team efficiency cost? How much does a piece of your time in life cost for you to spend it at my company to make some money? That's basically what they're asking. And basically answering, oh, 17, 18, $8? If you wanna make yourself worth $8, then that's fine, but to be a professional, I would say you would go over your resume or brainstorm every single skill you have. And for every resume that you put out to a job that you would like to work in, not that you have to or is the only availability. Say for instance, you wanna work in the car manufacturing or something like that, and you have skills for that. Make yourself out there, you know? Make yourself look above everybody else. Build up that resume, fix it up, Look up your skills, make yourself worth it. Make yourself, you know, sell yourself for the good price. If you sell your price for the right price, you get the job and you get the pay you're looking for. I mean, there's always negotiations, but sometimes you don't even gotta negotiate because if you show it on paper right there, they do your background check, everything comes together, there you go, you got it, you know? But if they're not willing to, you know, budge a little for what you want, then there's always all the companies, you know. There's one thing that I heard and I read. When you're looking for a job, it's not always about waiting for that call, man. Because when you're waiting for the call and you stop applying for jobs, you're wasting more time than actually being active, you know. Being more efficient, you would call yourself. You're like, oh, I'm waiting. I know I'm going to get the call, but let's keep on applying at more companies that I want to work in that I'll I think I will retire from and I would enjoy working there for the rest of my life. That way you keep yourself and there's, you know, you're working, you don't got to worry about nothing. You don't got to worry about no cost because one day somebody's going to see those skills and they're going to be like, let's call this guy. You call, blah, blah, blah. How much do you, how much do you want to make? Okay. Yeah, we could work that out. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. <clears throat> it's just experiences in my life. You got to get your A game. If you're confident, you'll never fail an interview. They want to see confidence, you know. They want to see a good team member. They want to see, they, they, they see everything, man. They see everything. Back to the basics of this video. Remember, it's not about what's available. It's about what you want and how much you worth yourself. Sell yourself. Be confident and get that job tomorrow. All right? Peace.